All right, guys, welcome back. Daily Duels. Today is Thursday. That means we're using Burning Abyss. So you're looking at the title and you're just like, Daniel, really? Really? You're like, all right, and this was supposed to go up yesterday, but it's going up today. Yeah, what? What? <laughs> Sitting there judging me and shit. All right. It's special someone burning my sense from me. Oh, wow. Then I got it right now. I literally have first turn Fire Lake combo right here, right now. Just special summon that, normal summon that, make a fucking Dante. Then I got my Vanities, of course, at three, and I got my Fire Lake, of course, at three. So, yeah, this should be fun. I said fucking just, just T, fucking Konami, like, all right. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. All right, I want the one who summons from the deck. I mean, from the graveyard. Yep, I want... I want you. Slap you down. There you go. You're gonna get it. It's burning a base. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, anything else? I know I, I saw a tour guide, the Skullton. Oh, and another Fire Lake. All right. Oh yeah, I'll totally get Skarm. In fact, give me another tour guide. Like, hello. Re fucking ridiculous. Burning a base. Swear. I swear. Anyway, I'll be telling you guys about her. I because you probably completely confused. Wow! Oh, never mind. It's vanities. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you really hit my fire like Freaky son of a bitch! Like, nah, this is my vanities. I thought I put my fire like over there. It's a good thing I didn't even know. Shit, you didn't know what you were hitting. I didn't even know what you were hitting. So, there you go. I mean, Yokai, I, I don't think they can keep up. Yeah, you might as well quit. You can't. You can't. I have Fire Lake and you can't. All right, let's get another duel, and I saw that coming. They are back. All right, we're back. So, uh, let me begin. So, as you guys know, what happened with Shell Girl, I uh, said I was pretty much done till the, uh, you know, till next semester. Oh, I, you got Foolish? I got Foolish, too. Shadals. Interesting. So, it's going to be Shadals versus Burning Abyss. Never mind. He's gonna he's gonna summon first turn window on my ass. Yep, first turn window on my ass. All right, sucks. I got nothing to combat a window right now. I didn't open up well enough. Okay, well this should be fun. Oh, I got Phoenix. Awesome. <laughs> I love getting Phoenix Wing 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 Blast. Blast. I don't like the idea of fucking Falco and shit, but right now I'm okay. I'm just gonna drop a Skarm and in search during the end phase. Set that. Set that. Set that. Pass. Thank you for the Phoenix. Hopefully he doesn't pop it. Hell yeah. I don't like the idea of Falco going off. Yep, I knew you were going to blind space me. That's why I set the Foolish in the middle. Because I'm smart. <laughs> I'm like, go ahead and set the Foolish in the middle. You didn't you didn't hit the crucial card. Now you're sad. <laughs> He's like, I'm blind space! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow you to get that Falco. Definitely not. Definitely not. Just shh. It's okay, little Falco. Shh, shh. The fuck out of my face. I'm cool with that. I hope you got another Shadal Fusion. Summoning Dragon. What are you gonna do? Go into Goyo Guardian? Goyo Guardian? Really? Oh, it's that version of the deck. Okay. You can go for a Leo. Interesting. Yeah. It's Leo right there. Yep, Leo. All right. The the, the Chaos Dragon Slash and Light Swords is working. I mean, it's not like that can do fucking, you know, artifacts or anything along those lines. So, mm. <laughs> Alright, how am I going to handle this Leo? 
Doesn't everything in my deck target everything? Yeah, I think it does. I think everything in my fucking deck targets. I don't think there's a shit thing I can do. Everything targets, and nothing can get over fucking 30, uh, 31. Unless I go into, of course, I can go into main phase 2. So I'll probably have to do that and hopefully be able to squeeze out a main phase 2. I should have not done that. I should not go into, uh, I know he has one wyvern guy, but, you know, I'm not sure about the other shit. Uh so I don't know. Uh this is an interesting conundrum. I should have left him. Yeah, I should have left him on the field. Oh well. So crossing my fingers and hoping I can get to main phase too. I'm just gonna hold down the A button. Hold down the A button. Oh my god, really? Come on. Come on. Fucking come on. Re fucking ridiculous. Re fucking ridiculous. Yes. Yes. I think I'll just stall out. Re fucking ridiculous. Like, of course. Of oh, fucking course you get the MST. Look at the C like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm hmm Fucking number generator. Go ahead. I can stall for a little longer. Unless you top deck fusion, of course, which you probably did. Like... Re fucking ridiculous that you fucking ripped a double MST in this duel. Like, hello? No spinning back. Don't I? Sure. Re fucking ridiculous. I'm just gonna leave my mathematician there. You gotta kill my mathematician to get to my life points. So right now you're not even doing anything. So right now you know, I'm not even even remotely scared of you. You know, probably something that you want to do. Maybe kill a mathematician. Pretty fucking ridiculous. This is getting cray cray. What do I want to do right now? Ah, I'll just set this. And once again, I'm going to hold the A button and hopefully go to main phase 2. No. No. After he goes into battle phase, because of course he's going to go into battle phase. If we top deck another fucking MST, I'm going to murder this man. <laughs> oh, fucking course! Oh my god! And he's gonna send Dragon, and Dragon's gonna fucking... Oh my god, come on. Come on. Stop top decking. Send Squamata, send Dragon. It's the same shit. Stop top decking. Are you shitting me? You're literally top decking. Why send Fusion? Do you have something to get it back? No, oh, that's fine. Oh yeah, I'll activate Mathematician Effect. Draw me a card. No. No. Yes. Drive me fucking crazy. And the battle phase, no. Main phase two. Yes. Get rid of you. Yes. This guy knows how to fucking drive me up the goddamn wall. <laughs> Sure, I'll go ahead and summon you. Probably not gonna make a Virgil, but I'll summon you. 
Ah, I apologize, people. I mean the tongue. This duel has been super fucking stressful because I want to fucking handle this, but I can't. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. Thank you. You're dumb for not fucking sending dragon. And then you scoop. You had me fucking on the ropes the entire duel because you're fucking top dragon. And then you scoop once I get the fucking opportunity because you fucked up. <sighs> get in another duel. Be right back. Alright, back. So, you would think that, you know, my escapades. Oh, uh, I got. Who's going first? Me? Oh, then I got first turn, right here. Right fucking here. I'm, I, I put this down to one, because it was getting super cloggy and super annoying. So, I put this down to one. I think I threw in like a Dark Hole and a Regeki, because sometimes I have a problem with authority figures. But I guess that fucking Leo, if I had Dark Hole and Regeki, where were they? No? So, that was a problem, especially since I can't target. Mm. So that was a good choice, but then phase two, like I said, you should have went Mackintosh and sent Skormata, Skormata, send Dragon, Dragon Pop, but you didn't, so. There you go, alright, so, I'm gonna go tour guide. I have the first turn, all you need is one tour guide and one fire, like, there you go, bam, it's so stupid. Alright, I don't want to summon from my hand, I want to summon from my deck, and I want to summon, who's the one that's target, no, target when putting this in my deck, right? Yeah, deck. Summon you. Vex negated. Go ahead and go into Sacte. Sacte. Mill as much as you want. The more effects, the better. I didn't mill anything good. Then, of course, we're going to summon Sir. Well, if my opponent doesn't quit, I can just show you the Fire Lake loop right now, as long as he doesn't hit my Fire Lake with any MSTs or anything like that. i show you the Fire Lake loopity loop right here, right now, because it's stupid. No, that's fine. Alright, I'm going to fire like that. I don't care. I don't care if Maiden goes off. I'm not worried about her. I just don't want you plussing with fucking the wand. Oh yeah. You'll go off. You'll go off. Summon back Dante. Dante, grab me back a fire lake. Yeah, it's it's, it's that ridiculous. It's that ridiculous. I mean, he, of course, he has the blue eyes to run me over. But yeah. And then Dante would be on the field. And then next turn I have to summon Graf, set the fire lake, hit him again. Hit him again, hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. It's re it's re fucking ridiculous. It's re fucking ridiculous. Show you some magic triculous. Dante effect again. Who do I want? No. Yeah, give me you. I should have waited until he summoned the blue eyes. That was my bad. Then you quit. Okay. So, yeah. So, like I said, if you didn't have the blue eyes right over my Dante, because Dante would have a 25 booty, it might be really hard to get over, you know, just doing the shit. Now I could just summon, start to fire leg, fire leg you again, go ahead and do the same play, do it again, do it again, do it again. It's ridiculous. We'll get one more duel in, and then I'll finish talking. Alright, bear back. Alright, we're back. Ugh. So just deck loves to go first. It can go second, but it prefers to go first. Because your setup plays are pretty important. This guy had a rating. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Alright. Well, that should be interesting. Hmm. When this face-up card attacks or is attacked and is destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, you can expect to summon one track monster from there. Blah, 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 blah. What did I call that? Ah, should I call that? I said he may make a Lagia and Doka and shit. Let's to our guide. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to lose bait out your back row before committing to the play. Is that, no. If you want to, like, flip over vanities or something, then, hey, I'm going to throw the dark hole at you. But, you know, if you want to go ahead and, you know, 
allow this play to go off, then hey, I'm gonna run you over. So, you know, I'll decide what to do in main phase two. Do I want you? I'd rather summon a burning beast monster from my deck. So that's a, uh, that's this guy, right? Two of them in my hand, so I want to summon the one from my deck, wherever he may be. There he is. And we'll go right into Dante. Or should I go into Alucard? It's a good question. I'm gonna go into Dante. Go ahead and mill three. One, two, three. Not the best of mills. Actually, you know what? Those aren't terrible mills, actually. So, you got something to negate my effect? It's a mill? If you want to. I don't like this dinosaur because he summons another dinosaur, which is pretty annoying, but I should be okay. I might summon Rubric. Yeah, I'll summon Rubric. I could... Uh, I already used his effect this duel. I mean, this turn. That's right. Alright. Monte, go ahead. Mm. I forgot dinosaurs have a whole bunch of during the fucking damage step shit. Well, I already fucking uh, give me fire like back. Too bad I already activated his effect, because if I didn't, then I'd be set. <laughs> Just like this fire like I'd be set. I don't Oh yeah, he can. He can run over my fucking shit. It's like, I don't think he can get over my shit. Yeah, not since he's boosted. I was thinking when he was 17. Yeah, dinosaurs, they like to boost their booties. You know what? I'm definitely gonna dark hole this fucker next turn. There's no point in vanities because I'll just kill my monster and then make his Lagier Doka anyway, so... Or maybe not. Maybe he just wants to get in the attack. Probably should make a Lagier Doka. No, that's fine. I might do it main phase too. Yeah, I'm gonna do it at the start of main phase too. I may be wasting my vanity's emptiness. But I'd rather do it main phase 2, prevent him from making specifically a Lagia, because I kind of failing as a Lagia. And then dark holing him next turn. You know, not since Rubric is off the field. No, it doesn't matter when I activate it. No. So I'd be like, oh, ha, ha, it wasn't put on special summon anyway, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Like, how about no Logi and no Doka? Like, no. Alright? I ain't about that life. I'm a Dark Holy. So, no Logi or Doka. I don't care about the vanity. That can go. I'm planning on special doing some stuff this turn anyway. But that can go. Without Logi or Doka. Oh, that's annoying. Well, but you're unaffected by your own shit, so now you're so damn weak, it's not even funny. I can run you over. Ah, the only thing I don't like is the idea of him going log your Doka. I'll just summon you, and you can run him over. Yep, and he'll be like, yeah, sick, Zelo! And then he's probably gonna get a fucking, uh, Guaiba. If I were to guess. Yep, how do I know? Because I know dinosaurs. 
I wish this fire lake wasn't here right now, then I'd be able to actually do something. I could have like special summoned, went for Virgil or something, but nope. Like I said, he'll probably just summon a dinosaur and go for a fucking... I mean, all he'll do is attack over me, actually. I'm, I don't like fucking Loggy and Doka. I hate those two. I've always hated those two. Always. Fucking Dino Rabbit. Like, people want fucking Rabbit to go up. I'm like, no, I fucking hate Rabbit. Uh, eh, at least that monster can't declare an attack. I only thing I'm worried about is him going into a Logia or a Doka. If he goes into Doka, I'd be chill, because all I have to do is just summon a Burning Abyss monster and then activate Fire Lake and burn his ass out. But Logia, on the other hand, can negate me, but then I could just XC into a Dante, and then, unless he stops the summoning of my Burning Abyss monster. What the fuck is that? I don't know what this is. It's weird, though. You still have a normal summon this turn, but I've never seen this guy before. Wow. Are you shitting me, man? Like, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That, that, that. Yes. Yes. Re... Tell me this isn't stupid. Like, literally, tell me this isn't stupid. Summon. Summon Dante. Set another fucking fire lake because I have two again. And I still have a normal summon this turn. That's the crazy thing. That's the crazy thing. I still have not normal summon this turn. That's fucking ridiculous. Go. Re fucking ridiculous. Deep fried ridiculous. Drawing Abyss. Too strong. That's fine. What does this nigga do? What's per turn each other's discard? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I'm gonna like fire like the shit of you again. Like, you like dinosaurs. Look, you like molten destruction, so I'm gonna fire like you. That, that's the same thing. Like, we're brothers. You got the molten destruction, I got the fire lake, you know? I'm like the inside of your molten volcano. Eh? Yes. This card should have went down to one, because I shouldn't be able to do this. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I can, because Konami's dumb. Yes. Who do I want back to my hand? Who do I want back to my hand? I want a fire lake, because I can do it again. It's ridiculous. Oh, you're almost out of resources. You got one, one little card left. One itsy bitsy little card left. Okay, Scarm Effect. Give me a tour guide. All right, do it again. Tour guide. Yes. It doesn't matter how I summon. Yeah, we'll summon the sir. And sir. I do more damage if I attack him first. I'm not gonna special summon. Attack, attack. Look at this. Look at this. Going to another Dante because Dante is still at three. Fucking retarded. I swear to God, it's fucking retarded. I get it. You like burning abyss, Konami, but come on. One's okay. Hell yeah. You summon back. I don't give a shit. I heard that that's going to be a pretty good card. I don't give a shit. Sure, bring back a Dante, because I like getting shit back to my hand. Summon that. Set the Karma Cut. Set the Fire Lake. Hit him again. That's that. I can keep hitting him. It's ridiculous. Actually, I should have put summoned Skarm, because Skarm got me a tour guide, and I could have done it again. And again. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, summon something, play something. I'm gonna fire like you again for the third fucking time in this duel. And you're gonna be out of resources. I'm pretty much playing. I'm pretty much punishing you because you can't float. Mm hmm. 
as if you're going to be able to do anything, sir. Especially getting over my 25 booty, because I know the dentistry's have a problem with authority figures. So without your little trap card, it's going to be pretty hard for you to get around 25 booty, so I handle you and I'm good and ready. This card's just about to express some... Okay, that's fine. Nope, that's fine. That's all you got? Should I fire like you? Nah, I'm good. I'll be nice. I won't fire like you. How does that sound? That sounds like that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. They have zero, zero, zero. And you know what? I'm gonna allow Rupert to handle this. No. Yeah. I'm just a big old troll. I'm just gonna allow him to handle it because he can handle all the tokens. A hundred attack, and he's about to handle it. Am I afraid of him and be in attack mode? Of course not. I got fucking fire lake. Uh huh. Some of your tokens. I'm gonna kill them too. I'm gonna kill all your tokens. You're not gonna get shit. Because I'm fucking burning your best. Top deck in the fucking format. You better fucking recognize because I'm the tits. Like. Burning abyss. Too damn strong. I, I and whatever you try to do to handle fucking Rubik, I can just fire like you. I could just fire like you. I could just make you drop bloop right into the bubbly hot abyss of lava. Look at them just chilling. So what, you're out of place? I can end this door right now. Yep, Rubik's gonna die, but I can still end this door. But you know what? It's okay if Rubik die, because I can bring Rubik back. But this effect negated. Because Crane Crane's good. I still don't know why they don't play Crane Crane. Still fucking good. Let's go for Virgil. Oh yeah, I don't go for Virgil that often. Just end this. Just fucking end this. Fuck the tour guide. No, three. One, two, three. Oh, Skarm 2. Alright. And I got rank up magic in there, so if I want to get it back and make a pleadies, I can. Virgil and Dante. Actually, they're not brothers when it comes to the lore, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but you know what I mean. Done. Done. And I still had Fire Lake again. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Of course, I would have sent the two Dantes because I wouldn't have got the effect of the Virgil. Anyway, let me let me let me talk. Let me talk. Hello. Let me talk. So, uh, pretty much, uh, I wasn't supposed to be talking to any girls until the other next semester, of course. But uh, I decided I talked to my friends. And they're like, "Hey, you know what? There's not a lot, there's not a lot of people to talk face to face with. So why don't you try a dating website?" Like, okay, sure. Why not? Let's do this. So made a profile on this dating website, and I was just going down looking at all the girls online. Just, you know, going ahead and talk, saying, "Hey, what's up?" And I actually came across a girl that I knew from high school. I know. Like, hello? <laughs> yep. And uh, we were two years apart, so when I was a junior, she was a freshman. And, uh, you know, we were, we were in band. So I played the clarinet, and she played, uh, I think, the trombone. You know? And she was always, you know, happy to see me. Always, you know, interested in seeing me. Actually, it was actually funny. I think it was uh, last semester at the end of the 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 2014 school year at the end i went to go visit my teachers and she was still in high school at the time so she was a senior and you know i was walking down the and she saw me and she was so excited to see me and she was just like oh my god daniel what are you doing here oh my god you know like she was more excited for, for me being there than you know all those things it's just like yeah i'm here and so you know she's always been really happy to see me really you know she's in me i don't i don't know i don't i don't know why i never you know real life in high school but anyway you know She's on a dating website, so I messaged her. She was happy to, you know, hear from me. So we've been, you know, uh, messaging each other, just talking. So, you know, I was being kind of foreign. I was like, hey, you know, uh, you know, how about you let me take you on a date? And we, you know, talk a little face-to-face, -face, and she's super excited for it. So uh, the date will be either on the 27th or the 28th, depending on, you know, uh, you know what day she works. Um, you know, her family's in town for the holidays, so that's the thing. So that's why it's not any sooner. But, you know, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. We're going to go. See a movie, so it'll be nice to see her. Yeah, but no, she's at, it's funny thing is she's actually going to she's planning on going to college to be a teacher. So <laughs> you know, so I'm you know not only was I her senpai in high school, but now I'm a college senpai because we're in the same major. So I'm just telling her I'm like you should take this class, this class, this class, this class. You know, she's like oh, okay, oh, okay. She's totally listening to me. So you know, that's probably it. 
<laughs> so she's like, she's like, notice me, Daniel Senpai. <laughs> senpai, someone who will not, who will never notice you. So yeah, so I get to take her on a date. So like I said, I'm only two years older than her. So I'm 20, she's 18. So that's legal. <laughs> yeah, here and here and actually here in Nevada, it's legal for 16 actually. So. But I'm not going to chase after. I'm not going to go to creep around any high schools and be like, are there any 16-year-olds here? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so, you know, I just I'll get to go ahead and know her a little bit. You know? She was in the marching band, so I wasn't. So that's kind of where separate. She, I was in the magnet program. She wasn't. So literally the only class we had together was band. You know? But she was still just, you know, completely, completely into me. You know, she was always excited to see me. So, you know, she was just totally, you know, it wasn't. And when I asked her, it wasn't no awkward, like, um, um, or, uh, or I'll think about it, or I don't know, like, fucking, like, fucking calculus girl, shell girl, no. She was just like, when? You know, with a smiley face, when? Like, damn, like, you know, like you didn't want to think about it? So, uh, there you go, there you go, so. High school girl. <laughs> so, I guess I'll tell you how that is, um, you know, a couple of daily duels from now, but nine time recent. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I apologize that this video is late, because it's late. <laughs> it's supposed to go up 15 minutes ago. I still gotta edit, render, and upload it. So, yeah. But you'll get your daily duels. Calm down. Don't lose your bras. Alright? Keep them clipped and clipped on. Or, or whatever bras you, type of bras you have on. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to go uh, and visit my uh, my high school. Like I did last time when I ran into to high school girl. Yeah, I'm doing that again. Gonna go talk to my teacher, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys about that experience, you know? Because I think they'll find it pretty interesting that I'm gonna be in Calculus 3, and I gotta take college out, but they'll, they'll get a good laugh out of that. Everybody does. So, um, yeah, I at least have something to tell you guys when we're using the choo-choo trains. So, you guys get better get ready. You guys better get, get your train ticket and get on this train, because we're going for a ride. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with choo-choos. All right, thanks for watching.